If you want to see the devastating effects of climate change, then you need look no further than our own backyard in the last 18 months. First, it was fires that tore through our country, and then, more recently, unprecedented floods. Climate change is real, and it needs to be addressed. This Earth Day marks a global initiative for all of us in Volkswagen Group, as we each spend an hour of our day to learn more about the devastating effects of climate change and what we as a company and as individuals can do to make a difference. Closer to home, Volkswagen Group Australia is leading the way in terms of talking the talk by challenging our industry to do more to reduce carbon emissions and implement the latest in sustainable technology, but also by walking the walk with recycling initiatives like Tyre Stewardship Australia. I sat down with our fearless leader, Michael Barch, to find out more about what VGA is doing to reduce its ecological footprint. So Michael, how important is it for the Volkswagen Group to be leading the way in sustainable mobility? I think you've got to look at this at a whole lot of levels. You know, the next generation, the people that want to work for Volkswagen, increasingly people will look at a company and say, what sort of philosophy do they operate with? How do they fit in to the future? Are they consistent with the, the values of the future? People are making decisions about uh, where they invest and who they invest in based on their environmental scorecard. It's a reality. Uh, so you have those sorts of things to think about and then you have um, the real issues of, of even just from a pure business sense, the, the competitiveness of the environment, the, the way that the technology is moving, the emergence of brands like Tesla, the emergence of brands like uh, Neo, their signposts, their warning lights of, of what the future will be and, and it'll be like Kodak at your own peril, ignore them. So it's, it's simply a reality of, of the changing business environment. The simple way to encapsulate all that is, is for long-term relevance, no matter what the motivation is, no matter what the reason is, for long-term relevance, Volkswagen and any company has to have as part of the platform foundations of the business, the fundamentals of, of uh, environmental sustainability driving the company philosophy. Okay, so minimising our carbon footprint is not just the responsibility of companies. There's a lot that we as people, as employees can do. What's your take on what VGA team members can do to, I guess, reduce their environmental impact at work? One of the things which we have done for a long time, uh, my daughter and my wife, and that is we often consciously pick a no drive day where we actually say, you know what, we are not going to get in the car today. Uh, and we will do that once every two weeks, once every month, where we'll consciously make a decision not to start the engine. We'll walk somewhere or we'll, or we'll take the public transport or train. Now, for me, that's a really simple way of, 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 of contributing to something. I think the, uh, the other thing which, you know, I'm very, very conscious of, and you can, to a large extent, ex um, thank my wife for that, is that we are absolutely avid recyclers. And if we don't believe that the garbage collector is genuinely picking up the stuff to recycle, we take it to a recycling depot. What you're looking at here is the result of hard work from Bush Heritage Australia, with a little help from Volkswagen. Last year we gave Bush Heritage a million dollars towards revegetation of land such as this and others that have been decimated by bushfires. And as you can see, time and resources have been put to good use. The property has been recovering over the past 12 months since the bushfires incredibly well. It's been a great season, uh, we've had plenty of rain and good um, moderate temperatures and the plants are just going brilliantly. We've got all these babies ready to go again uh, in the break of the winter and get these in spring and um, yeah we've got really high hopes for the restoration of Scottsdale. Over the past 12 months here at Bush Heritage, our staff and volunteers have been hard at work recovering from the devastating fires from the Black Summer. Here on beautiful Scottsdale Reserve, over 70% of the reserve was impacted by fire. So it's been a tough year, but we've been incredibly grateful and so appreciative to all the individuals and organisations who supported us with an overwhelming amount of support, which has meant we were able to hit the ground running and begin our work right away and plan for those future fires that we know could be around the corner. As a company, our cars are at the very forefront of automotive technology. And I chatted with our resident product expert, Mr. Jeff Schaefer, to find out about the next generation of Volkswagens that are greener, more efficient, and how the company is working towards a net zero future. 
So Jeff, as a man in charge of our product future, how are you seeing our cars becoming more efficient? Well, there's lots of uh, technology that continues to roll out. Um, when we look at combustion engines, there's certainly a lot of things that are coming into cars or, and are already here. Uh, Stop-start technology, which is great um, when you're just idling uh, to turn off the engine. Cylinder on demand is a technology we've seen. Uh, forced induction is through most of our cars, which is getting the most out of a smaller engine. And in the, the diesel situation, we've got um, particulate filters and selective catalytic reduction, which I think a lot of people know as AdBlue, which reduces emissions. But of course, over time, we're looking more and more towards electrification. So we'll be seeing hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and of course, uh, full EV models come. And it's not just the engine side of the equation as well. There's a lot of other technologies, things like the driver behind the wheel. We've got systems in the car that help you drive in an eco-friendly manner. We've got uh, other uh, driver aids like a coasting function to disengage the clutch and let the car uh, use its momentum without using more, more fuel. Um, and even the basic design of the vehicle. So um, looking at the aerodynamics, uh, which improve all the time, uh, tires and rolling resistance, and particularly weight reduction. So in a vehicle like the Touareg, when we moved from the last generation into the new generation, there was a really um, high application of uh, new materials, um, aluminium and, and other mixed materials to re reduce the weight of the car. And of course, that helps in terms of uh, fuel efficiency. So obviously there's a lot happening um, with, our, with our technology. Why is it important for cars to be more efficient? Well, when we look at the, the transport sector in general, it's, it's a big part of the um, emissions that we see um, across a number of different industries. So it's important that we play our role in becoming more efficient. Um, from a Volkswagen standpoint, we're fully behind the, the Paris targets, meaning a 30% reduction by 2030, and, and we're looking to be, as a company, balance sheet carbon neutral by uh, 2050. But it's not just the CO2 side of things. Um, you know, other types of emissions are important to reduce as well, and we all like cleaner air, and, and that results in you know, community benefits like um, better health outcomes, for example. Um, and it's not just these types of things, but from a customer side, um, you know, you feel it in your hip pocket if you have to spend less on, on petrol or diesel, that's a good thing for the customer too. Looking into your crystal ball, what does the, uh, the future hold for green tech? From a group perspective, we're really focused on the, um, the EV um, side of the equation and we're looking at um, 70 EVs by the end of the decade, so a massive investment um, in that. There's a lot of um, development in, in battery technology and, and they're getting more energy dense, they're becoming more affordable as well. And um, you know, further down the road, there's things like solid state batteries, which offer a lot of promise. Um, within the company, we've got what we call Project Trinity. It's a, a new uh, platform and new um, model, which is um, aiming for 2026 on sale. And the goal there is to have um, the battery being able to be recharged in the same time that you'd expect with a, a combustion engine vehicle. So it basically looks at eliminating you know, all of those um, pain points of, of EVs, price coming down, time to recharge, and the, uh, the range of the car. And, and, and really that bodes extremely well for the uptake of electric vehicles and um, um, how we see the market um, developing over time. As a group, we'll also be moving to a unified electric platform for all of, all of the, the, the group brands. And again, that brings with it uh, benefits in terms of cost savings for the customer. So Jeff, why is it important for Volkswagen Group to offer the best in zero emissions motoring? Well, I think that the, uh, the key is that Volkswagen's always been the people's car and we want to bring uh, clean motoring to the masses. So it means um, EVs for the millions and, and not just the millionaires. And um, I'm really excited about our new products like the ID3 and ID4 that have gone on sale overseas, um, not just because of the vehicle themselves, but the total picture. So those cars are carbon neutral at the point of handing over to the customer. And that means looking through the whole supply chain from uh, the very raw materials all the way to the end of, of, of life.
While it's important to be looking towards the future, our current generation of cars are just as important in our quest to combat climate change. And while it's not instantly apparent, our own certified pre-owned program is actually contributing towards a circular economy by keeping cars on the road longer and keeping them running efficiently. I spoke to Adrian Robertson to find out more. So Adrian, tell us about how the certified pre-owned program works. So the certified pre-owned program in essence is a remarketing channel for our dealerships to promote their used car vehicles. Uh, for a vehicle to be eligible for the program that must be under five years, under 120,000 kilometres. It then gets a full 114 point mechanical inspection to make sure the vehicle is mechanically sound, gets reconditioned with Jim and Volkswagen parts. Uh, on top of that, the vehicle will come with a minimum one year warranty plus a 12 month rental assistance. And then in addition to that, the vehicles will be acceptable to getting either a service care plan or a uh, finance plan through Volkswagen Financial Services. So in essence, yeah, we're extending the life of a vehicle and ensuring that the vehicle is getting maintained to the Volkswagen standard and therefore making sure it runs the most efficient possible way. So how many cars a year are we selling through the CPO program? So at the moment, Kurt, we're selling around 2,700 units uh, through the program. Uh, and obviously that has the potential to grow a lot more. As the new car market picks up, we're gonna see more trade-ins and therefore that number will organically grow. Have you guys considered that the program is actually a form of recycling or maintaining a circular economy? Absolutely, I think it hits the nail with both of them because if we look at the uh, circular economy, we're keeping that vehicle within the brand, potentially introducing a new customer into the brand, and again, with that anchoring it down with a care plan, it's ensuring that vehicle is coming back through our service network and, and getting the correct maintenance done. And in essence, that, that maintenance is also keeping the vehicle running at its most optimum level and obviously running cleaner, as we would like to say. As you can see from a group perspective, there is much being done, but there is still a long way to go. So this Earth Day, let's stop for a minute, think about what our impact on the planet will be, reduce wastage, increase efficiency, and let's work together towards our goal of a net zero future.